Don't let road hazard ruin your fun. In the U.S. and Canada, there are over 200 million flat tires each year. Get the confidence you need to drive worry-free with the RV Advisor Tire and Wheel Protection Plan that will replace your tires or wheels, install them at no cost with no deductible. The coverage can last up to seven years. The longer the coverage, the more you save. The RV Advisor Tire and Wheel coverage also takes care of repair or replacement of tire or wheel parts, mounting and balancing, owned, borrowed, or leased vehicles and trailers, unlimited towing and mileage. To find out more, visit us at thervadvisor.com or email us at the info at thervadvisor.com. This is the RV Advisor Podcast with your host, Tom Alexander. Get all the latest information, trends, advice from experts, stories from the road, and more in the world of recreational vehicles. Now, here's Tom. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the RV Advisor Podcast. My name is Tom Alexander, and joining me today from Intentional Adventures, it's Ben. Hey, Ben, ben. how are you? Doing good. Good, good. And, uh, you know, I could see that you're... Uh, you're holed up there in your rig and ready to go. And uh, we chatted for a few minutes uh, beforehand, and you said you're uh, not too far from Clemson, South Carolina. Yep. And uh, how's the weather there uh, this morning? It looks sunny from what I could tell coming through the it windows. Is. Yeah, no, this is this is the kind of weather I like this time of year. It is not the the Florida heat, although Florida's starting to get, starting to get nice right now, too, I'm sure. Um, you know more than me since you're there, but we try to escape the heat and enjoy the coolness, so yeah, we're loving it over here. Good. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it, and uh, so when you're out on the road, uh, it's, it's you uh, and your wife, uh, Michelle, and you got two kids as well, a son and a daughter, so uh, they're with you, and, and uh, off you go on to Intentional adventures, I guess you could say. You're, you're, uh, right. uh, hence the name. T tell us about the origin of that. Where, where, when did that, when did the idea for intentional adventures start? Yeah, well, when we first uh, decided to travel, you know, it took us a little while to kind of uh, get our mind wrapped around the idea of not having a home base, you know, and or not having a home. Um, you know, it's a weird feeling of kind of being uprooted. So it took a, a couple of years, actually. At first, I was very excited about it. And then my wife was more excited than I was. And eventually, we both got on the same page. So it took a, a couple of years of discussing it. Uh, but when we finally decided to do it, we got to discussing, you know, we really want this time in our life, well, all of our life, but especially this time with the kids to be very intentional and we were just getting caught up in our everyday life and business and everything else to where we got in that routine and it didn't involve things that we really felt we uh, we wanted to have in our life on purpose. Yeah. Um, so we said, you know what, let's make this uh, a very intentional thing in our life, this adventure we're going to go on. And we said, man, that sounds like a good name. So we slapped it on there. Well, that's pretty cool. And, uh, and, and you know, uh, we've, we've had this before uh, come up relatively frequently particularly uh lately lately we've had folks that have come on that are in your age demographic your general age demographic with young kids and we talk about these travels which are so educational for kids because mm -hmm. they they are able to see different parts of their country and and you know and, and meet different folks from different places and how um everything from culture, local flavor and color to even dialects change as you go to different places. And right. uh, it's such a cool place. You know, we think of America as one country, which of course it is, but there's a lot of diversity and a lot of things, different places and amazing, not only, you know, topographically, geographically to see, and they're getting to drink all this in. Pretty yeah, cool. absolutely. Yeah, we're loving that. That's that's definitely a goal of ours, and the kids are enjoying it. And, and like you said, they just the exposure they get to different areas and states and uh, different views is is really worth it all together. Yeah, no, that's that's fantastic. So, um, what what kind of work do you do? Like, are you able to work from the? I assume you're able to work from the road and do your do your thing. I am. Yeah. So I um, I have a couple things going on uh, prior to COVID. Uh, my main income was a, uh, a rental business in the production industry where I rented uh, chandeliers for events. 
and uh, it was a very, very niche market, and it was doing very well. Of course, uh, events just dropped out of the bottom completely this year. Um, so I moved to my second passion, which is marketing for business, um, specifically in the social media niche. Uh, so that's what I'm doing now is working with uh, all kinds of different companies. I'm helping them market themselves on social media and their website and uh, really get connected with their people in this new age of, of way of connecting, I guess. Yeah, and you know, um, what COVID has um, uh, almost backed us into a corner, sort of forced us to do is, is learn to uh, communicate uh, and connect uh, through things like Zoom, like we're doing right now. Um, I, I got to be honest, uh, prior to COVID, I never heard of Zoom. And, um, <laughs> and, and, and uh, I'm probably not the only person. Uh, right. You know, and here we are talking and using it as our platform to connect and, and have our show. Um, prior to COVID, we were doing the show audio only. Now we have an audio component and we have a, obviously a video component. Yeah, um, so, so what you're doing is, you know, I'm sure that uh, through, through this period, uh, you've had to sort of pivot and do different things and try to figure things out as you go along, but it probably picked up a few things along the way. Yeah, let me tell you, my I really was passionate about my chandelier business, and I'm still very hopeful it will come back. Uh, we had a record year last year, and this year was looking to, to double it, so it was really exciting, and so, you know, I, if there's one thing I've learned through the years is you have to be flexible, and, you know, as a, as a faith person, uh, I'm able to get through this stuff way better than some of my friends who are not, you know, it's a fearful time. There's no doubt about it. And especially when your income drops out and you've got all these things around you that, that seem to be waiting to kill you. Um, for me, I've always just tried to keep focused on, you know, if this isn't working, God's got another plan. And um, that has definitely allowed me to pivot, especially during these crazy times right now to something else that I'm actually more passionate about, didn't even realize it. And, uh, and it's turned out to be something I love. So yeah, I'm, I'm real happy with where we're at right now. That's great. Uh, in, in your, um, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, we, we see you're, you're in your rig and, and why, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're riding around in? Yeah, so we have a um, 42 foot fifth wheel, uh, Forest River Sierra. And uh, it's very, very nice floor plan. It's got a bunk room in the back, uh, two sets of bunk beds, one's on the left and right. It's got two slides, so it opens up into a very large room there. Uh, then we have the kitchen section with the living room and then uh, full bath and then our bedroom uh, towards the front. Uh, and then, of course, in the kids' area, there's a half bath there, so a toilet and sink, and a door that accesses that from outside. So that was a big deal for us when we chose the rig is we wanted the kids to have their own area, and we wanted to be able to uh, have kind of an emergency exit door. If something were to happen, they could run out of that. I mean, the windows, of course, can pop out too, but... We thought the door would be really nice. And then also being able to use the bathroom quickly from outside without having, you know, if we had neighbors over, they can just go in that one door and the restroom is right there instead of traipsing through the RV. So we love this rig and this floor plan. We have seen so many in our, our three years of traveling and we still haven't found one we like better than this. So we really love it. That's terrific. Well, we're going to learn a little bit more about Ben and uh, his traveling family. Uh, Intentional Adventures is the name of uh, the site, and we'll, we'll talk about all that stuff as well on the other side. This is the RV Advisor Podcast. We'll be back in just a moment. ACA is a charitable organization protecting the rights of the RV owners. We'll work with dealers and manufacturers to ensure quality control is in place prior to delivery of an RV. Additionally, the RVACA provides assistance to disaster relief victims. Visit RVACA.org. We are back on the RV Advisor podcast. I'm Tom Alexander, my guest is Ben from Intentional Adventure, and there he is. And uh, Ben, um, you know, it, it, we talked a little bit about, you know, your marketing background and everything else, and and you're gonna, you know, you've kind of probably been able to use those, that skill set uh, in your 
uh, reaching out to the other side, so to speak, uh, the folks that follow you. And I know that you've got a presence on most of the social media platforms and Facebook and uh, you've got uh, Instagram and so forth. Uh, also a, 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 a YouTube uh, presence. And we know that editing video and putting these kinds of things together takes a little bit of time, doesn't it? Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it can be, um, it can be a bear. You know, when we first started traveling, I had this grand idea of doing a YouTube channel and it, it only took a month for me to realize that that is a full-time job. I mean, to, to put out any content uh, to the level of what I would enjoy. Being in the production industry, um, I have a standard that I can't seem to get past. And so I thought at one point, you know, we could just throw a couple of these things up there, just, just easy intro, easy exit, and then just a bunch of whatever happens. Mm -hmm. And I think I edited one video like that and then I said, no, I'm not going to do it if I can't do it right. And so I continued to capture video, but I did not, um, I didn't do any more video, you know, put any more up on our YouTube channel for quite a while. Uh, it really into the last couple of months, uh, we really sat down and said, man, I, I love this. Like, I want to do more of this. I really want to share this sort of story with other people. I want to inspire people. And there's so many that are starting today. And uh, I'd love to help them avoid some of the pitfalls we did in our journey. So we really went full force and we're putting up uh, one video a week right now and really enjoying it. Oh, that's, that's great. And uh, yet you're starting to slowly build that, that following. And that, that is a process. I know we've had folks on that have had just a, a few, vi a few uh, followers to uh, tens of thousands. And they all say the same thing. It's, it, it takes a while. It doesn't, it, you don't just flip a switch and it happens overnight. You have to build that, yeah. build that up and uh, you're building that up. That's cool. And um, uh, I know that you said that you've got a few uh, trips along the way sort of planned, planned out here. Uh, I guess you could say they're an intentional adventure waiting to happen. There you go. Ten Tennessee, Alabama, the Carolinas, um, so any, any place, specific places that uh, you or the kids or your wife, Michelle, are interested in, in making sure you see uh, any in, in those spots? Yeah, um, you know, we're kind of lucky this time of year. We, we have a couple of um, solid dates uh, where we have to be somewhere, but in between there, we can just float around. So our number one goal is to land in a spot with plenty of chi uh, trees changing uh, and in the mountains. So we're going to kind of explore that over the next, probably the next month. And um, ultimately we'll end up in Alabama on Halloween. We've got, I've got family over there. So we're going to spend fam uh, Halloween with family, but otherwise we're just going to bounce around between, you know, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, and find us some spots that have the, the trees changing. Our kids really haven't seen that being, in, being from Florida. Uh, so we wanna immerse them in that. Of course, they love the mountains and the colors and also, man, that's, that's our plan is just uh, keep popping around and find a really good uh, pumpkin patch in the midst of all that. So that's, that's our goal right now. That's, that's great. You mentioned your kids are uh, 11 and nine. So they're right in that age when they're certainly old enough to appreciate it, but young enough for the, all the childlike enthusiasm, I guess you could say. Yeah, you know, that's, we a, good, that's a good place to be. Yeah, for sure. We, we've met a lot of families with kids that are older and some that are much younger. And I feel like we are so happy with the timing uh, of getting our kids out here. You know, this age, they can remember so much, but it's not, you know, I don't have to worry about them crawling on the floor or in and outside of the RV. I feel like that people that do it are amazing. I don't have that grace now in my life because I have moved past that stage, but I am so happy that they're at the ages they are. They're really soaking it up and, you know, we can really see that through their eyes and the things they remember. So we're, we're really happy with their, uh, the timing for everything. Uh, that's, that's, that's terrific. Um, you know, it's, uh, I, I have a son, he, he's a little, little older than, than yours. He's in his early twenties now. So, but it doesn't seem that long ago. Uh, that we were taking those kinds of uh, trips and, and seeing these kinds of wonderful places along the way and drinking it in. Um, and you know, I, I would highly recommend if you do someday get a chance in, in the fall, this time of year, uh, to, to get into an area where I grew up, which is the Poconos in, in Pennsylvania. Oh, 
Oh, okay. And and um, it's it's absolutely beautiful. You've got this uh, stunning. It, the leaves look like they're uh, on flame. You know, they're just. Oh, uh, that's cool. It's another spot for great, as they say, fall foliage, and you you get it, and it's it's pretty pretty spectacular. But I know that um, the mountains of uh, the Carolinas and Georgia and and uh, Tennessee also have uh, beautiful places to see that. So uh, you're 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 hitting it, you're timing it just right. That's fantastic. Nice. I'll have to add that to my list for sure. I've been to the Poconos uh, one time before. It was in the winter, but. I bet that would be gorgeous in the fall. No it's doubt. gorgeous in the fall, and it's just a lot of rolling hills, and, and uh, it's, it's quite beautiful. Uh, right. We're speaking with Ben from Intentional Adventure. Uh, he and his wife, Michelle, and their two children uh, are taking their intentional adventure and, and seeing different places in, in the country. Right now, they're east, uh, and, and like Ben said, catching all the, the fall colors, which is a sight to behold. And, um, and, and, and what about, what about West? Are you, is that something uh, down the line or have you been out there, uh, in, in the, uh, in the plain States and in the, uh, in the, uh, big sky country and those kinds of places? We have, yeah, we only have, uh, five States left in, uh, the United States. So, um, wow. you know, Hawaii, Alaska, Louisiana, California, and Mississippi. So wow. we've hit all the others we really enjoyed the west we went out last year over there we did not make it to california because we were going to do that this year we had big plans to uh to work through california for a couple of months and then we were going to do a cruise to alaska and be there for a couple of weeks and then into canada and all of that got uh squashed with covid so this was not the year for it but yeah we love the west i mean it's it's gorgeous and we can't wait to go back out it's nothing like the East, which like you mentioned, you know, it's, we're all a United States, but it's so neat to see each state. It's almost like its own little country and the yeah. things in it. You would never know that they're there. Uh, it looks like a different world. Some of these places, especially out West, like I had no clue the, uh, the kind of landscapes we were going to see. So we we really thoroughly enjoyed that for sure. Yeah. I, I, that is one part of the country. I've been to California many times, but uh, you know, they're in Colorado, but there's, there's other spots that, you know, big sky country and Idaho and the Pacific Northwest and even further South, like New Mexico and Arizona. Those are places that I've, I've yet to visit and want to see, absolutely want to see soon, yeah. sooner than later. Um, it, it's great that it's such a great thing that you're doing. And I, you know, I, I love the fact that not only, you know, do you share uh, your adventures, but also, you know, the fact that, and we've said this before, you know, so many folks can kind of maybe live vicariously through your, your uh, adventures and, and they get to experience it. You know, maybe some folks are, are not, are, you know, may not have the, uh, may not be in a situation from a health standpoint to do that level of traveling, or perhaps they're, uh, don't have the resources, the means to do it, but they can always hop online and, check out what folks like yourselves are doing and and it's just uh what a great thing to do to share it it's pretty awesome thank you thank you we're, we're very happy for it. you know it's funny too be, prior to traveling there were so many places that we've seen now that we didn't even know existed and so you know one of our our goals and inspiration here is even just to expose people to something within their own their their own country that they never heard of before even if they're just taking one vacation they might pick that spot over something else they've seen uh, 10 times over. And so you just seeing something unique for the first time is such a neat feeling. Uh, so yeah, we, we love inspiring and, and we're really glad that uh, people can jump on and see that. Absolutely. Well, listen, why don't you tell uh, folks again where they can, they can find you? Okay, great. Yeah, so on YouTube, uh, just search Intentional Adventure. Uh, same thing on Instagram and Facebook. And then we have a website, uh, intentionaladventure.com. Terrific. Well, Ben, we really do appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for joining us. A lot of fun to talk to you. Oh, it was a pleasure being on here. Thanks for uh, reconnecting. Ben, Michelle, and their two kids uh, from Intentional Adventure. You can track them and see uh, all the fun stuff that they're doing on the road uh, right here in the great USA. This is the RV Advisor Podcast. I'm Tom Alexander. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. 
So long, everybody.